Hello Sagittarius. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. We're going to start with a message from your angels, guides, guardians and ancestors. It is the most important part of the message for me and it helps to shed light on why a spread shows up the way it does. And what we're seeing for you is the hummingbird, the drum, and the mystical shaman. Now, and I forgot to let you know, I go live every Saturday, Wednesdays and Sunday nights, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to uh, join us and interact, I like pulling free cards for people that come into the house. So let's get back to your message. The hummingbird is about... The fragility of this bird is actually a higher, one of the higher, I think there's six altogether or four. I can't remember now, but it's one of the higher perspectives of consciousness. As fragile as that bird is, it travels thousands of miles as, with its built-in homing device and can change directions in a blink of an eye. There is a lot of strength and this is a level of consciousness that is magical. Now, during this magical realm that you enter, I think it is as a result of marching to the beat of your own drum. But when the drum shows up here in this particular deck, it is about doing something that is methodical. You know, like beating on the drum is something that it could be, it could be, you know, doing the dishes. It could be something that you do is in the form of a craft that you're doing methodically over and over and over again. It is a form of meditation. So there is something that you do are doing, if not consciously meditating, you are doing something that is putting you into this higher perspective, this higher state. It is helping you to detach from the world. And maybe that's what the message is here. Is saying Sagittarius do something for you and detach from the world at this level you are going to strengthen those wing muscles of yours tune into that homing device and be correctly guided there is also a feeling of not worrying about where that next meal is coming from, where that next flower is coming from for nectar. Just putting one foot in front of the other to keep going. Detaching from all else in order to get this task done is going to take you into a, a realm of feeling accomplished. There is a message for you on this higher realm something you do methodically, a craft, something you do at work. The spread here, we have the King of Earth, Eight of Earth, and the Queen of Water. We have some healing energy, mastery of a skill. And the King of Earth can be about focus on money. You could be focused on your money, about making bank. It could be a, a boss that's coming to offer you a promotion. It could be uh, someone who is offering you a relationship that involves living together. There's healing energy when you're doing this craft, whatever this is you're good at, Sagittarius. It is strongly pulling you to do something that you're good at that's methodical. First of all, it's going to help you be a little more patient about waiting for a harvest to come in. And it's going to give emotional fulfillment. Right at the heart of your reading, we have emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. In the home, there's some type of transformation going on inside of your home life. The Page of Water is about, and it's funny that it comes under here because this could be a whole new direction for you, like that 90 degree turn in the blink of an eye, finding out that your harvest well, maybe you stop waiting for this harvest. This transformation means I've already started painting a new canvas, painting a new reality. 
This can also be about psychic abilities that are being triggered, waking up, a spiritual connection, especially with these cards up here showing up. Messenger of air, someone wanting to come in and help, something that they speak a message, uh, racing in, wanting to help or fix things. Um, but I think the conclusion here is Scorpio or Sag is you're going to, you may be cutting this person off, this messenger, or perhaps you're listening to them with some suspicion. But this ultimately, this queen of air, she's so benevolent, but not to the point of being railroaded or manipulated. There's wisdom here, approachable. I know this is air energy, but every time I see a picture of this woman, this card, I think of Sagittarius because of my sister, who is a Sag. Uh, she's able to see things from different perspectives, but she'll call you out if she thinks it's BS. This is about cutting out the things that no longer serve you. We have the base chakra, clarifying the king of earth. So someone, if, if this isn't a boss or uh, a person who wants to long-term commitment with you, this is about you focusing on something new in making money, taking a skill of yours, perhaps. Base chakra is there's new beginnings here that is going to bring great stability. Bottom of this deck, all decks have been pre-shuffled to save time. We have the shadow card. This is traditionally, that's the moon card and it signifies Pisces. It's about something being hidden that is going to be revealed to you. Perhaps through this meditative state of repetition and mastery. There is something beginning here. Eight of Earth. Well, whatever you're really good at and mastering, this suffering in silence. This looks like a job that you're doing that is very... A job that you didn't want to have, that you have to do. Suffering in silence. Or perhaps... Sagittarius, for some of you, you're just diving into work in order to avoid thinking about whatever marital problems you have with a partner. Queen of Water. This healing is where prosperity begins. And you're not alone. As you can see, there's two hands here. Growing. A young tree who is that is deeply rooted already and strong. This is about something that is healing and growing into something very strong. Emotional loss. Perhaps you feel like by walking away from a situation, you're saying to yourself, well, no harvest here. And I've waited and nurtured and invested so much of my time. It is an emotional loss, but I'm... I'm seeing it as a loss. And that final card, you're cutting out whatever has been holding you back. Positive movement forward when it comes to emotional fulfillment. This tells me that back here, you're tired of waiting. Emotionally exhausted. So that positive movement forward is bringing that emotional fulfillment. Perhaps you're finding it within your home, you know, withdrawing into the home life because the Ten of Cups is about the home, that emotional fulfillment. And you're making positive movement forward here. Transformation is also the Devil card. No, it isn't. It is the Death card. Scorpio energy. This transformation of being one person and becoming another. You're, it, it sounds like a leveling up 
but you're still in the stages of doing it. Success, triumphant success in this transformation, in changing a situation. Passion ignited by this new reality that you're creating, the new canvas that you're painting. Passion igniting um, can also be very um, emotional that affects the physical. Passion ignited. You know, what happens when we are stimulated? Passion is ignited. This could be about this love that is burgeoning, a new love that's coming in, a new career, a new reality that you're creating within the home. This messenger of air that comes in, it is feeling like we've got spiritual strengths dealing with this messenger, whatever their communication is with you. You're showing a lot of strength. Temptation may be to cut it off, or maybe you're feeling, oh, it may be Sagittarius. You're saying, look, I've waited exhaustively. I'm exhausted with the weight and investment. The temptation may be to cut it out. But it could be that through this um, stage that you're going through and what spirit is guiding you to is giving you that strength to say, all right, you know what? I'll just put that on the back burner and see where it goes. I'm not going to invest any more time in it because I'm on something new or I want, I'm creating something new, inspired to help keep my focus off of how much I have lost here. It could be also the temptation of not cutting out something that you need to cut out. It could be the temptation of, after you cut it out, taking it back. I don't see a big problem here, Sag, because we have spiritual strength with this messenger. Being able to, through this new beginning that you're, you're this creation or craft that you're mastering, you're suffering in silence over the emotional loss of the past but you're making positive movement forward by the repetition of it. You are succeeding. You are creating something new that is igniting a passion. You are showing strength if this messenger is bringing news that you don't necessarily want to hear. Maybe the temptation is just to blow it off or blow everything up that you've been trying to do. But what you will be doing is cutting out the things that are not necessary you will succeed in that. But I think you are very well aware of what it is that needs to be cut in order for you to focus on your craft. Suffering and silence on that truly is, I think, part of your journey of this loss, healing from that loss, because we do have the healer showing up with prosperity beginning. So perhaps this is a job that you're just humdrumming through that you don't like, but it is leading you to something new here where your passion is about to be ignited. Let's ask about love for Sagittarius. What's going on in love for Sagittarius? Any advice? We need heart to heart conversations with someone and honestly discuss your feelings. That's probably the messenger down here with the temptation to maybe don't let yourself be triggered. A new person has has stirred your romantic feelings. New love is coming in. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Perhaps all of this is about you getting over the past in order to free that. You know, this suffering and silence thing and emotional loss. It's not something you want to carry this kind of baggage into a new relationship. Perhaps this is what spirit is helping you with. If that resonated for you at all, Sag, please do hit the like, share, subscribe. Check the description below for all the information you need on the channel and website when I go live and how to get free tarot card readings. God bless you and I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.